Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching this video. Please see more of my videos by checking out my channel's profile page at youtube.com slash John Marine Tube. My name is John Marine and in this video I want to talk about Forza Motorsport and how I eventually got to respect this series for what it is. The Forza Motorsport series has been the best competition against Gran Turismo in, for as long as Gran Turismo has been around. In fact, the original Forza offered three key things that GT4 didn't have. Online play, damage, and big name car companies, especially Ferrari and Porsche. Another nice element in regards to the online element is that you could have an online racing season, meaning that instead of going against AI competitors, you can play almost the entire career mode against people from around the world. Part of my thing in the past has just been that Forza has just been a... It, I still respect the Gran Turismo series, but it's just that people tend to favor Forza more because they just feel like GT was completely flat and that this brings something different. And it did bring something different to the table, don't get me wrong. I just thought that when I played the demo of Forza 1, uh, it was just that this is better than GT or this is supposed to be better than GT. Come on now. I was, you know, this, if you think this is going to sound like one of those I was skeptical but now I believe kind of stories, you're exactly right. Because eventually I did believe in Forza. I gave this game a chance and I mostly played this at, uh, I mostly went to, to the video game section back uh at Baybrook Mall in Webster, Texas, which is about uh, about a half hour or full hour away from Houston South, Southeast. And mostly, I played this game to figure out all the different nuances of what made Forza, Forza. An, an element I can truly appreciate was customizing cars with nice paint jobs and such. Basically, making their car your car. I appreciate that. As I've said in, in one of my GT videos, any game in which the only the only limitations to what you can do is your imagination is usually a great game nine times out of ten. The cars handle quite well. I don't I don't usually test the uh, the uh, toning off all all the driver age because I'm not that good a driver. But it's very competitive and. You usually like like an, an enthusiast, if you commit a foul or something like going off track or hitting another car, you get a little black flag. For every bit of damage and every bit that you go off the road, time is added to each lap time. So even if you completely fly off the road, time is going to be added as kind of a penalty, which will really stress you to race the course right. Online play is not one of my facilities, so I'm not going to get into that too much. But over time, I, I got to appreciate everything about Forza for what it is. And simply put, it's a solid racing game and solid racing game series, which I don't know if I want to say takes cues from Gran Turismo or basically makes a game that, that surpasses Gran Turismo in various aspects. But for the most part, the Forza series is all about... Basically, if you're a fan of the Gran Turismo series and you have an Xbox, Forza is your, is your favorite series. It's the one you should watch. And really, it's the only other Xbox racing game series that I respect besides Project Gotham Racing series. So, I respect Forza for everything that it is. It took me some time, but I believe and I'm a fan. Thank you for watching this video. John Marine is my name. Please subscribe to my channel. Comment this video. Rate this video. Comment and rate any of my other videos. But don't hate. I hope you have an amazing day and I wish you the very best life has to offer. From here in Houston, Texas to you all over the world, my name is John Marine signing off on another video. Take care and may God bless all of you.